Okay, so now today we're doing A minor to E minor. We're gonna do eight strums or two measures on each of the chords. A minor is like this. If you don't know it, you'll need to spend some time learning it. And when you feel like you're kind of getting it and you wanna put some motion to it, come back to the video. If you're ready, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here either way. But we're gonna try jamming this little track. We've got A minor and E minor. There's two ways you can go from A minor to E minor. And how you transition is important. You don't wanna do this. <laughs> um, you want to keep as many things the same and simple as possible. To E minor, it's just these two notes. So you could take these two as a pair and bring them up and take the pointy finger off or leave your second finger where it is and put the pointy finger on top of it. So this becomes, you might call it a pivot finger. It, it pivots you, but you don't wanna take all those fingers off and make a big change. So train yourself early to make the smallest motions necessary to make your changes, okay? We're on A minor, it's gonna go like this. It's gonna go. Looping chords is just good for just kind of being in the beat and just relaxing. Hopefully at some point you get to where you can just enjoy being in the song. You're not having to think too much where those fingers move automatically. How do we get to where our fingers move automatically? It's called muscle memory. Our muscles remember what to do if they do them enough. And that's what we're here to do. Not just how to transition chords, but how to put them with rhythm. Good timing. Ready? One, two, three. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, E minor. Five, six, seven, E minor. Five, six, seven, E minor. Five, six, seven, A minor. You know, the point is to try to get over the part of where you're really having to focus in really hard and you're and cleaning up the chords, making them sound good. So again, music should be about enjoying the beat, being in it, being able to use your ears to hear, say, the other players if you're playing with other players, where you can say, focus in on the drums and you can just be a part with the drums, seeing how you're contributing to the overall sound. Thank you for watching that video. Feel free to rewind it and do it again. Get good at it. Be, be really good at these two chords. You can go to insideoutonline.com and see uh, those videos in an organized way. Check out other jam tracks. Check out other kind of theory and um, figure out what level you're on and work within that level. And you can download a free guidebook. See you on the next video.